Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Lane. Today, I'm doing a fantasy rebuild of the Minnesota Vikings. And I hate Kirk Cousins. He might be one of the worst quarterbacks I've ever seen play. Do you like that? Just asking Kirk Cousins. Do you like it? Which, I don't get why he did that. It was so weird. Like, you, you're playing bad. You had one good game. You go, into the, like, go by the press, say that. You're a clown. I'm just saying, like, that's so embarrassing to do. But we are going to fix this team. It might take a few years. I mean, we have Jefferson. We have Cook. We have Thielen. We have Rudolph, Irv Smith. Probably going to get rid of Rudolph, to be honest. Maybe even Thielen, depending. We are going to get Nelson. We're going to get Zach Martin, if we can, which I imagine we can. And on defense, there's just a lot of work to do. We will get Hunter back next year. But we're going to try to trade Harrison Smith for at least one first-round pick. But let's get right into this, and let's do some trades. I'm trading Harrison Smith, Kirk Cousins, and a second-round pick to the Jets for a pick this year and next year. Which I'm hoping they fall apart, which they kind of did, so it's going to make sense. I'm trading Kyle Rudolph, Abdullah, and Aloka to the Jaguars for their first-round pick. Probably said that name wrong. Let's go get Quentin Nelson, shall we? I'm trading a third and fourth-round pick in Madison for Quentin Nelson. I still feel like they actually fixed this game. Which, I mean, I say it out loud. I'm like, there's no... No chance. He doesn't care about Madden. No chance. I'm trading Cleveland Reef and Todd Davis for Zach Martin. So the offensive line, already way better. I'm trading two fourth round picks and Steven the defensive tackle for JC Jackson. I know that's another trade I do all the time, but he's way too good to pass up on. So it is what it is. I'm trading Anthony Barr, Johnson, and a fifth round pick to the Falcons for a first round pick. So we are an 82 overall team, 84 offense, 81 defense. We're going to change our scheme. I like to do run and shoot. I like to go with Tennessee's playbook, wherever that is. And found it. And then we have a 4-3, so I'm going to shift, shift, shift it. I'm going to shift this to Cleveland. You heard nothing. What a surprise. We missed the playoffs. We went 7-9 somehow, though. The Packers 10-6, the Bears 8-8, eight and, eight, and the Lions 3-13. and 13. Bortles 3,800 yards, 25-10. and 10. Almost like a good quarterback. Cook 1,000 with 6. BB. 936 with 8, Thielen with 5, Jefferson with 6. I have a lot of questions. Mike Hughes 110, 108 for Kendricks. Sack total 6 for Odin Igbo. I think I said that right. 2 for Kendricks for interceptions, nothing else. 25th at offensive yards. Defensive yards? Huh? 22nd. Wow, our defense is better. I don't really believe that. Any Vikings in sight? Hey, Blake Bortles, our guy. Defensive player Fred Warner. Nothing. Offensive rookie. We have Jefferson at five, of course. Defensive rookie. We have Wonum and Die eight and nine. Where is Gladney? I don't know who these two are, to be completely honest. No clue. All right. The XP is not really going to matter all too much at this point. Maybe other than Jefferson. He has four star development. Should have superstar, but it is what it is. Good amount of the offensive line. Three for Irv Smith, who I like a lot. That's why we got rid of Rudolph. Three for Hughes, two for Jackson. Three for Die, I guess. I don't even have pre-existing injuries turned off. How did that happen? That doesn't make any sense. Jax is coming back. I do not want Tony uh, Jefferson. I'm going to say Tony Jackson. We don't have a ton of money, which I guess kind of makes sense. Anthony Harris, no. Ooh, what did I do? Oh, I hit the things in the back. Let's bring back Eric Wilson, I think. I think. Yeah, we'll do it. Even though we have a bunch of first-round picks, so we're not going to really be able to spend anything in free agency, so let's just go right to the draft. So we have the 4th, 7th, 13th, and 15th round pick. 15th round. 15th overall pick in the first round. I have to go to Angelo Hill. I don't need a quarterback. There's two quarterbacks there. We can wait. 79 normal. Rank 2. Superstar. Superstar. 92 speed, 77 man, 69 zone, 74 player. With our 7th pick, we're taking middle linebacker Zach Beckham. He's a 76 noble development, ranked five, star development, 88 speed, 86 tackles, 70 block shed, 83 hit power. We're going to take our quarterback, Justin Edmond. He's a 72 noble development, yikes. 88 throw power, 81 deep bag, 75 medium, 83 short. Who would have guessed there's not a quarterback I wanted? Who would have guessed? I think Havenstein over the middle linebacker because we already took one. Let's go Scott Havenstein. 73 noble development. 80 tackle, 84 hit power, 80 speed, 87 acceleration. I am sending Kendricks to the Colts for a first round pick so Beckham can start. So we are an 83 overall team, 87 offense, 80 defense. I don't think Edmund is going to be our quarterback long term. Maybe he gets up to start of Edmund after this year. He should with that offensive line. Weapons should work out pretty well. Then on defense, I mean, it's good. We gave Hill superstar, like I said. Beckham has star, which is good. 
I actually like this defense a lot, if I'm being totally fair. Let's make Gladney our safety. Why not? But who are the specialists? Dudley. I'm so disgusted by that. I'm going to make that Justin Jefferson. Like, what are we doing? And I do have to bring in a quarterback so they don't bring some random guy in off the street. James White. Uh, let's bring in... How's Trevor Simeon sound? Sounds great to me. We did not make the playoffs. We went 3-13 and in this awful division. Bears, Packers, 8-8, eight and, eight, and the Lions, 5-11. and 11. Edmund, 4,021-13. He's not the guy. Cook, 884 with 5. Holyfield with 6. Jefferson, 1,200 with 9. Irv Smith, 902 with 1. Thielen with 2. I don't know about that. On defense, Beckham, the rookie, 150 tackles. Fantastic. Gladney, 118. 109 for Hill, the rookie. Sack totals, 9.5 for Hunter, who is back. Interceptions, 3 for Gladney. 2 for Beckham. 2 for Wilson. And a bunch of ones. 25th in offensive yards. Not good. Let's see it. 29th. Great. Mahomes MVP. Nothing. NFC Offensive Player of the Year. Wasn't expecting anything. Defensive rookie, we have Beckham at 5, which is good. Offensive rookie, Edmund at 2 behind Covington. Was that the guy we were going to take? It probably was, right? I'm going to go look at that and be sad. Dudley at 8. Defensive rookie, Beckham 1. Hill 2. Haven't seen 5. Barnett 6. Yeah, let's go be disappointed by finding out that he has X Factor. Because that's just the kind of things I like to do. Star. That still hurts a little bit, but it's not as big of a hit as I thought it was going to be. That's awful. <laughs> There's no other thing to say about that. Where is Hill? Hill has four. Beckham with seven, who has to go up the superstar. So that's going to be easy. We need both safeties. Havenstein will be fine with Wilson. I don't think I'm going to replace, but we do need another end. A defensive tackle eventually, a right tackle or a left tackle, and then still a quarterback. But I think we have maybe two first round picks, maybe three. The Patriots beat the Buccaneers 35 to 14. Very interesting. That is what I said the NFL wants to happen this year in real life. Brady versus Belichick. Obviously, that can't happen. But I still think that's like the marquee matchup. Unless you go like Chiefs Brady. I don't know. Maybe Chiefs Packers. You need some big-time quarterbacks. And I think those are like some of the options that would have made sense. Let's bring back my cues. Let's bring back O'Neal. Let's go like that. Go like that. And then let's bring back good old Quinn Nelson. So I made an offer to Orlando Brown. Fred Warner was up here with Beckham. Doesn't make sense. Adams, I am actually going to make a one-year offer. Maybe not five-year. Uh, might have to be. Make him a five-year offer. Why not? He has no offers. He always go to free agency in this game for some reason, which I don't understand. Well, I do understand Matt is awful, but... If I was using my brain, be like, why would that happen? Doesn't make any sense. Orlando Brown took her offer. That's good. What about Devontae? Hey, Devontae's on the team. 50-year option, Bradbury, easy. Let's bring him back. So we have the first overall pick and the seventh overall pick. There is a quarterback up there. We could trade back four picks and get a pick next year. Are we going to risk it? Yes. Yes, I am. And I love regretting things like this. So let's do it. Quarterback? No. Football team might need a quarterback. The Eagles. No. Nope. Eagles. The Lions are now on the clock. Oh, the Lions. They're gonna screw me. The Lions. The Lions are now on the clock. All right, that makes me feel better. Skyler James. 75 hidden development, ranked number eight, 91 throw power, 79 deep back, C 83 medium, 86 short. With the seventh overall pick, we're taking right end Cabrera. He's a 76 normal development star. 76 power moves, 78 finesse, 75 speed, 89 acceleration. Um, We don't need a receiver. We could trade Thielen away, in theory. Let's take Jackson. 77 normal, rank three, superstar, 95 speed, 95 acceleration, 83 catching, 81 catch of traffic. This game's off. Yeah, those three players, that might have made, yeah, because we had, what, the five, seven, yeah, 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 yeah. So we're an 83 overall team, 93 offense, 83 defense. I mean, we're locked up. We're ready to go. We're ready to be let down by Madden 21's algorithm. So let's just get straight. Let's do specialists. Let's not get of ourselves. Jackson, perfect. Hunter, Pierce, Cabrera, Beckham. We're good to go to the playoffs. Hey, we made the playoffs with a wild card round at 10 and 6, playing against the 9 and 7 Rams. The Bears 12 and 4, the Packers 6 and 10, and the Lions 5 and 11. James, 4,300 yards, 37, 19, though. Ugh, that's bad. Cook, 1,100 with 7. Adams, 1,300 just about with 11. Jackson, 1,100 with 14. Up to X-Factor. Jefferson with 3. Irv Smith with 5. 
On defense, Beckham, 131 tackles. I mean, that's not exactly 150. Hunter, 11 sacks. Pierce, 11. Cabrera, 7.5. Interceptions, 4 for J.C. Jackson. Beckham might win Defensive Player of the Year with 3 interceptions, 3 for Hill, 2 for Hughes. We're 10th in offensive yards by Dan Quinn. You should be ashamed of yourself. 4th in defensive yards. There's James at 8. There is James at 5. Defensive player Beckham losing to Smith. Also Hunter at 9. Offensive rookie James 1, Jackson 2. Defensive rookie of the year Cabrera at 2. Culver at 7. Wake at 8. All right. Let's take a look at what we have for XP. I'm assuming a good amount. 5 for James with star development. Eh. Jackson with 8, which is fantastic. Let's see the defense. Cabrera, five. Wake, five. We have star development. Beckham, four. Hill, four. We need to find safeties. We have, I think, three first-round picks, so it should be easy enough. Yakuza? I've never played Yakuza. I've always been intrigued by it, but not intrigued enough to play it. I might play Cyberpunk tonight. Actually get over that hump and actually play it. Can we beat the 9-7 Ravens? Or Ravens? Rams? We're not going to hop in against the Chicago Bears. To make it the NFC Championship game. We did beat them. Can we beat the Saints? Make it to the Super Bowl as the Minnesota Vikings? Nope. Of course not. Of course not. This game, this game sometime. I know it's the Saints. They have a great team. They lost Breeze. They brought in a quarterback with star development. But then they lose to the Raiders. Why? Why do the quarterbacks I draft just blow? But if I don't need a quarterback, then there's... All kinds of quarterbacks. Irv Smith is coming back. And I guess, why not? We'll bring back Michael Pierce. The more the merrier, I guess. Let's bring back Irv Smith. Let's pay Michael Pierce. Not going to take this. But I'm going to franchise tag him. To the draft. With the 12th overall pick, we found a safety. Tresman McLean, is that how you say that? 75 hidden. Hey, 91 speed, 72 zone, 74 tackles, 76 pursuit. So we have the 20th and 29th pick in the first round. Let's get our free safety, Shaquille Morris, 72 normal, 27, 89 speed, 70 zone, 74 tackles, 78 pursuit. Now James is up the superstar development. We're a 92 overall team. This offense is fantastic. Nothing bad to say about it. We are, where's uh, Morris? I think we are going to put up the star development. Yeah, I guess so. We'll stick with Culver. So I guess we're in good shape. Wilson's up to superstar. I never thought that was going to happen. Let's go to the playoffs. We did not make the playoffs. We went 8-8, eight and eight, tied with the Lions. That's a rough final year. James, I thought he was the guy with superstar development, but I guess not with 16 interceptions. Cook, 1,200 with 10. Jackson, 1,200 with 13. Six for Adams, three for Smith, five for Jefferson. On defense, Beckham under 34 tackles, 105 for Hill. Sack totals, eight for Hunter, six and a half for Cabrera, five and a half for Pierce. And interceptions, three for Beckham, two for McLean, one for Culver. Ninth in offensive yards. This defense better not be top 15. All right. That makes me feel a little bit better. Any Vikings? Nope. Any Vikings? There's James, defensive player of the year, Beckham at three. Offensive rookie, nothing. Defensive rookie, McLean at three, our safety. And that's probably going to be it. As a 92 overall team, missed the playoffs because game's awful. And they, this is the prime example of how bad this game is. There is not a weak point on this team aside from defensive tackle two and free safety. We're four deep a corner. Great ends. Fantastic linebackers. Best offensive line I might have ever put together. Great weapons. Bad quarterback, but good quarterback. I hate it. I hate this game all so much. That's going to be it for the video, though. Hit the like button down below. Subscribe button down below. I'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Goodbye.